So I'm back out again, this time somewhere different, not ruins today. This is where I am today. Exploring the Arboretum. I'm at the National Memorial Arboretum. And as you can tell, there's a hell of a lot to look at here. And I've uh, probably not given myself enough time really to look around everywhere. As you can see, it's like uh, the reference to all the points. And you see them all on the map there. I'm going to go straight to that one, the big one first, which is over there. So I'm given these maps, well, actually wasn't given that one it was three pound but uh, to be honest I don't mind giving them any money because this is fantastic okay as you can see there's a uh, it's a huge area there is a there is a guided tour like a bus tour over there which uh, was recommended to me decided against it today because I'm a push for time and to be honest I want to get me drone out in a bit if I can so uh, we'll see how we go on so let's have a look around National Service Monument. Look at this. Remembrance and remembrance lot. which was like a year or so it was uh, in the army basically <laughs> um, I think getting ready for any other war I think for the future um, but they stopped it many years ago a lot of people say today that they should have carried it on to uh, <laughs> keep these youths more bully you know teach them a bit of respect um, but that's what the national service is about okay so we're going to carry on round On the way up to this uh, main big one up here, there's loads of different uh, memorial stones and what have you. They're all around me. It's so vast, this place is. Um, I'm definitely going to have to come back and do a part two, I think. <laughs> it's huge. So when I'm up on this bit, I probably won't be talking a hell of a lot because it's just, I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's a bit overwhelming. So you can see separated, look, these are all the people that died in the wars. Air Force, Army, Royal Navy. Obviously not everybody that died in the wars, this is the ones that have been remembered here. There's obviously millions, but this is unbelievable.
only just got here and I feel choked up already. It's unbelievable. It's so sad, it really is. All these lives just wasted. What a waste. I don't want to get all political with this, but um, wars should never happen. No war. People should not be dying in fighting between human and human. It's pathetic. It really is, when you think about it. All these wasted lives, all these um, so sons, fathers, mothers, daughters. At the same time, I've got total utmost respect to these people who obviously fought for what they believe in, uh, whether it's our country, other countries, even Germans. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're all humans at the end of the day. Um, I don't care what nationality. Let's go and look him around. There's a spare space look. See that? That's all spare. All that. I mean, <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is not bad enough seeing all these names everywhere on these walls. If that don't affect you. The thought of all this spare space ready will. Okay, I'm trying not to get too upset making this too miserable. Um, I want this to be more, well, not entertaining, but informative. But it's, um, it gets you, it really does. I'm having a bit around that bit, but that is uh, the big bit. Um, but it's just unbelievable. Just unbelievable, shocking. Although I sort of knew it was here, I knew what was here, but when you actually come to see it, it's it's just unbelievable. <sighs> yeah, I'll show you a look around. Uh, this is how vast this place is. This is only one bit of it. This is just one bit of it. And 
there's, there's, there's stuff all over the place. We'll head over that one there. I'm going to get really technical now and say we're going to go to the big ones. <laughs> Apparently, I'm going to go over to the. Uh, I guess the sun gets too low. I'm going to uh, go over to the Japanese prisoner of war memorial section. I'm going to go over to there. So we'll do that. Um, just got to find my way down there now. <laughs> I'm going to the path round, not roll down the hill. Be a bit uh, disrespectful, wouldn't it? Maybe you can hear me okay because there's a bit of a breeze around here and I'm using the uh, built-in microphone on the phone so uh, I hope you can uh, pick me up okay. So, uh, just trot down there. To be honest, I'm getting a bit sidetracked here. I was going to go over to that one over there and now I'm beginning to think I should go over to the Japanese uh, Prisoner of War Memorial. I know that one of my ancestors was held in a prisoner um, prison camp in Japan, over that way. Because I remember my granddad telling me that uh, I think it was his brother. I think he survived actually, amazingly. But when he came out, he said there was no stray animals around the camp when he was held there, meaning that uh, the Japanese never fed their prisoners. They had to kill what they found running around and eat that. That's how bad it were. So. Uh, Okay, I'm going to take a, a bit of a tour through all these different ones now to get to where I want to go. This place is huge. For a minute, for a minute there, I looked over there, whether you can see or not, over there, and it looked like canal boats. <laughs> There's me thinking that uh, I'll do a bit of magnet fishing. I can't, I ain't brought me a magnet with me, but it's just a thought. There's another one here, just to say this one. <sighs> I say, there's all these different, uh, all these different stones everywhere. Including absolutely everybody. So you got, uh, yeah, I think that'll be one of the, that'll be one of the Sikhs, I think. Uh, if it isn't, forgive me, um, not totally knowledgeable, but I know the Sikhs did uh, obviously join him with us in the war. So I'm assuming that's uh, one of them, I assume. Oh, I, can, I, I can only guess. Respect to any of the other people who have helped join the wars. So I'm going to take a bit of a detour. This is quite a walk around because it's quite a huge place. I'm going to, uh, I think next time I come, I'll come early and I'm going to have one of these proper guided tours. You can't you, uh, travel around on these like a road train thing, stopping at different places, and that would be a probably a a better video than me walking around like this really but uh... make our way over you can see or not over there that's where we're going to mercy and volunteers pause if you want to read it <laughs> Zealand uh, flag there I think. Probably isn't, it's probably not at all. I've got it totally wrong. So that's some more. I ain't gonna read all this out but you can uh, pause that if you want. Anytime during this video If you want to read anything, I'll just keep it on for a few seconds so you can pause the video and then we'll read. Gallipoli, 
some of these uh, statues, you know, as well as the monuments, are absolutely amazing. Really well, really, really well put together. And I really like this one. This is the uh, land army girls. Used to work the land in the war. So I'll just move across so you can have a read. tricky doing it 60 frames a second because it's on the rear camera so uh, you can see me okay, so I forget the sun's behind me so here's another one oh, I think uh, a lot of you might remember this is in when I was younger this happened Fulton Islands So I remember all that when uh, all our aircraft carriers that we had at the time we probably ain't gone now <laughs> and battleships all the way all the way down to near Argentina there Falkland Islands <laughs> to claim back the islands that uh, we claim to own so uh, Another rotten war that should have been avoided. Um, like I say, I'm not um, getting all political about it. I just don't like people dying. It sickens me. All the names, all the names, all around here. You know, are all people that have died, and it makes you think. You know, it's just, it's not good. Where the little, little train goes round them. You can see it. Well, you can see it because the sun's there, but uh, let's try and block the sun. You might be able to see it better. There it is. Little train, look. Little carriages. That takes you around <coughs> for a bit of a guided tour, which is something that uh, I shall have to come back and do. So we'll probably get a And, uh, my version of me whinging and groaning about people dying. Let's go over here and just show you quickly. Look at this one. This commemorates all personnel of the Combined Services Task Force who served during nuclear tests. Bloody hell. <sighs> Christ, things people have put themselves through. Nuclear tests. I've seen old footage of that when in America where they've uh, let off an atomic bomb and just not that far away they dug some trenches and they're there with like binoculars and, <laughs> and stuff as if like the safe. It cracks me up. This. Look at that. Oh, the twin. You know, you can see this or not? Yeah, the Twin Towers Memorial. Look at that. I didn't even realise I had that here. see this very close to me, 
it's been worn on there already. I'm surprised actually. Look at this. You can see it because of the sun, but without a second you should be able to see it. There we go. It is. I can't read that. <laughs> But uh, how about that? Firefighters serving humanity. I suppose there's a, a direct reference there to the ones that perished during the 9-11 uh, um, terrible thing that happened. So uh, but there you go. So it ain't just uh, military. But mostly. What can happen there? The Boer War, the Great War. And again, there's a, a reef down there with some. Remembrance crosses there. There's so much here, I can't show you everything. Like I say, it's going to have to be another trip, I think. So that's what all the noise is. All over there is a quarry. I've seen it on Google Maps. I didn't realise it was so damn noisy. It seems a bit of a shame. Uh, memorial place. Quite you know, it gets you there, yeah, and then you got all this noise, that's a shame, okay, so I think this might be an indoor one as well, uh, if it's an indoor one, I'm still going to video, so here we go, we finally made it to the, uh, I, think it, I think that's what he said, if it's a Japanese prisoner of war, uh, God, yeah, this is uh, this is quite something. This is quite something. This is. Yeah, we got look. There must be a. Was it some sort of general, commando, or something? There he is. Again quality this is isn't it I mean the quality of these statues really really good really good I just gotta show you this look at this Korean War 1950 to 1953 freedom is not free so got a picture there look I'll show you this, I can say pause if you want to pause and read it.
I love makeup ever felt so depressed. Jesus. Okay. Well, that's quite informative though. Uh, I'm going to show you something that's right next to this, uh, this bit here. Let's walk it out. <laughs> These steps. Okay, Sumatra Railway. I'm just going to scroll down here so you can have a read. Say pause if you need to pause. And over here, we have a piece of the actual railway. And uh, more of these remembrance crosses all over the place. And you can just imagine uh, the people who were forced to build the railways. <coughs> <coughs> Forty-four to nine forty-five. Okay. Um, once again, I'm sorry about the the light in here. I think half the time I've got the sun behind me. <laughs> I'll put it sideways on like this so you can see me better. If you want to see me better. Um, this is the Suez Canal Zone of Egypt. Not to scale. I'm going to tell you a funny story about the Suez Canal and the war. My granddad was in the Navy, uh, Merchant Navy, and he was on board one of the battleships. They were travelling through the Suez Canal on the way back to England, as far as I know. And my granddad died in 2008, but uh, I remembered everything he told me. And one of the things he told me was when there were, oh, there's loads of them on board the boat, you know. There was the normal sailors plus the extra lot. They, Hitch the lift. <laughs> and, um, I'll go through this way. And, uh, while they were going through the Suez Canal, the ship got stuck, grounded, basically, underneath. And he said, You'll never see this in the history books, it'll never be reported, but this is what happened. He said, To get them ungrounded from under the water, I'll stand next to this. Uh, they had to get everybody on deck at one end of the ship and they got the band out because they had the little band and every time they beat the drum everybody had to jump up and down at the exact same time to shake the ship loose and that's true that's exactly what happened and it worked the ship, the ship actually came free from being grounded because everybody <laughs> jumped up to the beat of the drums at the right time how about that? And yet it's not in any history books anywhere, that. And that's uh, a moment in time, during the wartime, that was, you know, important to them to get home. Quite important. And yet it has never been reported. Never been in any history book anywhere. In fact, I challenge anyone to find that in history books. I couldn't tell you what the ship was called. He did tell me. I have forgotten that bit. Um, but he was on a few, few big ships. Um, Battleships, uh, minesweepers mostly, I think. But, uh, yeah, he survived the war. He uh, lived a good life. My granddad did. He lived to the old age of ninety and died in two thousand and eight. But he told me lots of lots of things, and I want to try and remember it all. You know, I, I suppose you can tell by. <laughs> Sorry about that. I get a bit uh, emotional. I think uh, doing this video is uh, <laughs> is quite emotional in itself. It's really quite hard. It's you know, it ain't exactly many fun adventures. Is it? Um, incidentally, I want to mention uh, someone, Clive. 
because uh, it's Clive's idea. Um, one of my great subscribers out there, Clive, and he uh, he suggested me coming here, and uh, I did say to him I will. So there you go, Clive. I finally got here. But look what you're doing to me. <laughs> So uh, I can see there's a tour going on over here, so I'll let you have a look. I'll sneak a, sneak a bit of footage of them. I think I've stopped now actually, but uh, look at the stuff over there, there's so much. There's so much that I can't, I haven't shown you yet. It's spread so far out. I can see something from here that's going to really upset me. I don't know whether to go and have a look or not. This is not what I thought it were, but this is this is a stunning, uh, a stunning thing. Take a look at this. Okay, mustn't forget that uh, it weren't just the men that was fighting, it was the women as well. Look at this, hey, look at that, that's awesome. I must admit, a few minutes ago I thought, oh my god, I'm about to go to pieces here. There's one thing that I do, oh, it's bad enough seeing all the human losses here, but I love my animals, you know. I'm a big, huge animal lover, especially dogs, and uh, for all animals. And when I seen that, <laughs> that deer, from a distance it looked like a dog, and I thought, oh no, please don't go on about animals die during the war that'll finish me off <laughs> so uh, this is oh I tell you what you gotta have a heart of stone not to be affected by this place it's unbelievable but, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish off now I'm gonna um, We'll see if I can get the drone out. I ain't sure if I can yet. We'll have to see. <laughs> so, uh, but there we go anyway. Bye for now.